It took about a year to design this tiny home for my husband and I. Our daughter, she thought we were crazy when we decided to go tiny. I designed this system so that you can open this. Super accessible, practical, kind of like my hair. <laughs> Not super pretty, but super practical. The two things we were hesitant about when we moved into the tiny home was switching to a composting toilet and switching to a Hi, I am Tracy, and this is my tiny home. I designed and built this tiny home. I've been in construction and architectural design since I got out of high school, so it's been a long time. <laughs> it took about a year to design it, to come up with the perfect floor plan for my husband and I. And it also took about a year to talk my husband into going tiny, but he absolutely loves it now. The piece of property that this tiny home is built on is a lot with a main house on it. That's where we raised our kids. After they were gone, we didn't need that space anymore. We rent the house out to family. So it's a wonderful living situation that we have here. We did all of the labor. We salvaged a lot of material. It's hard to say how much it cost. I actually didn't keep track. <laughs> I would say between 50 and 70,000. I'm sure it's worth double that. So I built this tiny home four years ago and I had so much positive feedback from this build that I started doing it for other people. I love being a woman builder. I love proving to people that I can do it, that a woman can do it. All of my builds are custom. The spaces need to be designed for individual needs. I can get inside their brain and figure out what it is that they want for their home, making sure that I'm building something that they're happy with, that they're gonna live in. That's crazy. My most memorable build to date, I, I mean, I, I, probably my build, <laughs> just because it's mine, it's my home. It's a little wider than standard tiny home. Our tiny home is 10 by 30. Come check it out. Welcome. This door, this is a salvage door, mahogany. It was actually my dream door and I found it. So love it, super heavy. <laughs> uh, you come in, we have this servery window it's called with a bar on the inside and a bar on the outside. If you look, you can see that they're, they're book matched, which is really fun. This is definitely a focal point. The wheel well comes down here below the the bar, which works as a footstool, works that holds lots of books. And the tall ceilings make it so spacious in here. Across from here is our kitchen, which has a raised refrigerator, which actually just happens to need to be raised because it's built on top of the wheel well. But it's great for tall people like my husband. He doesn't have to crunch down. All these cabinets, they're designed for specific items, like it's a perfect spot for a bottle of wine. This is a fabulous appliance here because it's super low profile. You open it, the fan comes on, the light comes on. I love that, that's great. This is handy if you need to extend your counter space turn it into a buffet. This countertop product is fabulous, actually. It's called Thinscape. It's an engineered composite material. It's super durable, requires no maintenance, which is fabulous. I only keep on the counter the appliances that I use, try to. I have found that this little guy works great for a toaster. It's the old school toaster. <laughs> Safe space, you don't have to have a toaster appliance. This backsplash has proven to be durable. I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it when I first put it in. It is a metallic veneer, so 
it really is metal on the face of it, but it's just a stick on tile. So it was really easy to install. I like it, it's pretty. We do have a projector screen here, which opens up. This is the ladder slash pantry staircase that I made for the loft. Yes, it's steep, <laughs> uh, but we don't go up there very often, or we, you know, we don't have guests that go up there often. That's actually, I converted it into a little meditation loft. It's a spot to get away and focus on me and the now and what I'm grateful for. I leave all my worries down there on the main floor. This is a sacred space, a quiet place in this little skylight, this little spot. And coming around here, there are three doors in this tiny home. <laughs> The great thing about having a door here on the opposite side of the bar is we can open both doors up and the deck is outside and so it creates this awesome flow of traffic here when we're entertaining. So this doesn't end up being kind of a dead end. This guy is my rolling island, which after being in here for almost four years, this is a must. This is so great. I actually bought a table from the thrift store, stole the legs off of it, laminated a bunch of ply bamboo, and made the top for it. So it's it's great, it's super handy. It's nice to have furniture that rolls. <laughs> rolls around. Uh, speaking of rolling, this is the rolling cabinet also that is kind of our media cabinet. This is where the projector is that we use for the screen. And then we have a little record player here and some vinyl down there which there's more stashed away we have to rotate it and i think everybody knows this couch this is a great tiny home couch this opens up so it turns into um a guest bed or just a place to lounge and watch your movies it's very comfortable it has that and then it also has this is storage space here here on the windowsill, this is a picture of my husband and I in high school, we were high school sweethearts. So that was our senior year in high school. We just celebrated our 31st wedding anniversary. Three kids now that are older than we are in that picture, it's wild. There's lots of original art in the tiny home. There's not a lot of wall space, so my husband and I decided the only thing that goes on the walls is original art, so. We have a painting here that's my mother-in-law painted. This beautiful drawing um, was done by our daughter in college. It's Walt Whitman, and in his beard is his poetry. So this is a this is a pride piece for sure. She thought we were crazy when we decided we were going to reserve a wall <laughs> for a four foot by eight foot piece of art, but we did it. It's fun to have so many just handmade things in a handmade house. Let's check out the other half of the tiny home, this direction. Here is the bathroom, which is small, but all we need, it's perfect. With our tiny little capsule shower, which we actually have our pet water bowl in, it doubles great as that watering station. <laughs> this toilet is a waterless composting toilet, the separate. We love, if you can love a toilet, we love this toilet. Two things we were hesitant about when we moved into the tiny home was the toilet, switching to a composting toilet and switching to a combo washer dryer unit. But after three and a half years, both of these two items are awesome. This is the end of the wheel well actually right here. So I built this cabinet that just kind of towers up from it for all of the bathroom goodies. I have a triple pocket door system here. If I close these, you have um, your own bathroom, but you can still access the bedroom to the main living area. Or you can close this, these two, and have an attached master bathroom here. Or you can close these two and have your master bedroom, master bedroom, and still access the bathroom from the main living room area. It works really well. <laughs> it's really great. And for the most part, it just stays open 
which creates this big open space. But if you need the doors, they're there. So this is, this was great. We chose to have um, our bedroom on the main floor. We didn't want to have to climb into the loft every night. My husband and I have always slept in a king size bed, so we had to downsize to a queen when we moved in the tiny home, which has been fine. We just cuddle more. This uh, combo unit here is the splendid combo unit. It's the vented version. The dryer works awesome. If you are interested in a combo unit, I highly recommend the, the vented. The closet system isn't super pretty, but it's super practical. Everything's easily accessible, so, and that's fine with us. Who's that? Oh, my teddy bear? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this, <laughs> yes, that is my little uh, childhood teddy bear. He's there for me to cuddle with if I need him, but yeah, I, uh, over 40 years old. <laughs> he's, a, he's a sweetheart. One thing about this closet system that I designed was back here, I designed this system so that you can open this and you can get back into hanging clothes here which we don't use often, but they're there if we need them. And then this just closes. And it's again, super accessible and practical. Kind of like my hair. <laughs> Not super pretty, but super practical. We each have a, like we call them our shit bins. So, <laughs> so um, that's, that's what we're allowed to keep in the tiny home of whatever we want, whatever fits in that bin is, is what we get to keep. If you're wondering about all the screws, we wanted to go with a exposed fastener industrial look with our wall panels. So all of the wall panels are attached by screws. It's not something I would offer in my builds unless you want to pay a pretty penny. <laughs> it's high labor. Anyway, I, I really love the added touch that the screws have in them. This is the third door that I was telling you about attached to our bedroom. Um, and actually this door is a salvaged 120, well, it's 124 years old now. We, we took it out of a, salvaged it out of a old elementary school building. The original hardware, still have to find a deadbolt that'll fit in there. But uh, yes, we finished this. It's a beautiful door. Anyway, it leads out to an outdoor shower that we have attached to our bedroom. I have always wanted an outdoor shower. So when we did the plumbing for this tiny home, we made sure to add this. Once we finally got the deck in and the enclosure done, which took us a little while to get it done, but we did, we got it done and we were able to use the shower. We definitely use the outdoor shower more than we use the indoor shower. It's, there's just nothing better than taking a shower under the sky. We love it. My plan from here on out is to keep doing what I'm doing, keep following my bliss. It's where I belong. I'm so excited to wake up in the morning. I am so grateful. I plan on continuing to build tiny homes for people. We plan on keeping the tiny home here for another few years and then moving it out to our property where we build tiny homes and eventually hopefully develop a little community out there. So that's exciting. Thanks for watching this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon with another unique home tour.